Hello, darling. Do you have the time, please? It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Hello again, guys. Welcome to the Beer Monster Reviews. I'm Adam. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, on this one, we're going to be reviewing um, McGowan's Champion. Here's a close-up for you. Uh, Award-winning beer, apparently. Award-winning premium beer. Well, a lot of beers say premium on them, don't they? They're hardly going to say they're shite, are they? Um, yeah, we'll find out, won't we? Um, this was £1.65 in uh, Tesco Express. Um, it was strong. 7.3% uh, in volume. Um, and it's a Scottish Owl. Scottish Owl. I've not tried one of them before. Or a Scotch. Maybe Scotch Owl. Uh, it says full bodied, smooth, and complex. That's what it says on the front there. Uh, 500 ml bottle, uh, 3.7 UK units, drink responsibly, just in that one bottle. Um, brewed specific, specifically as a competition entry, then going on to take first place. Champion was the obvious name for this outstanding premium beer. There's the word again, premium. Uh, with rich, strong flavour and unique sweet and fruity character, Champion is a firm favourite in the Magoo'ins range. I've never seen any other one from that range, but there you go. I'll have to look out from one eye. It's any good. Anyway, enough waffling. Whoopsie. Let's have a whiff, shall we? Smells quite strong, but it is quite strong. Multi. Smells like plums. Got like a little plummy smell to it. Barley. Looks like it might have a slightly spicy taste to it. It smells quite nice. Anyway. Let's get it in the glass, shall we? And get it down the neck. Let's see what she tastes like. It's dark. It's very dark. It's in the Guinness glass as well, so might even look like a Guinness. Right. No, it's not quite Guinness coloured. It's more of a um kind of amber colour. Well, it might not look like that on the camera. It looks very dark on the camera. It does look lighter uh, in person. Sometimes things don't look the same on the camera as they do. Especially uh, when you've got a light above it. There you go. Yeah, it's kind of an amber colour. Looks quite nice. Looks like a decent pint, doesn't it? I'd say. <sighs> Alright, let's give it a try. Hmm, done about that. Let's try again. Oh. Oh. Um. There's a lot going on on this beer, but it's a bit of a mess. Oh. Yeah, that's a bit of a mad one, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have one more go, because it's just like fucking all over the place. Oh, swore again. Almost swore again because of I just swore to describe how I feel about swearing, but I'm not gonna do that, but I almost did, but then I would've swore twice. So I'm just gonna shut up and get on with it and have another try. Mm. Got used to it a little bit now, because it was quite mad. Um, definitely taste the plums. Maybe a little hint of spice. 
Um, <clears throat> it's a little bit sweet. And it's very alcoholy. It's 7.3% and it tastes every bit 7.3%. It really does. There's no higher than it. There's no, you know, it's, in fact, of anything, it tastes stronger. All right, comparing it to like that Delirium Tremors one I had the other day, that was 8.5%. This tastes a lot stronger than that did, for sure. A lot stronger. And it's not in a good way either. It's in a kind of like a paint strip away. Yeah, it tastes like it's got some nice flavours in there. The, the plumminess is nice. The malt, the barley, the spiciness, I really like all that. But then you just get this massive fucking uh, paint stripper sort of taste that just completely smacks you in the face. And kind of uh, just, ooh, there's a, like I say, there's a lot going on. But the main thing dominating it is the, the paint stripper taste. Very alcoholy, uh, not in a good way for me. Um, yeah, I'm not too keen on this one. Let's go again. <sighs> I do like the plumminess though. Mm. I'm getting used to it a bit now actually. It's a grower. I think it's a grower. First mouthful tasted blimey horrible. Um, I think you know what I was going to say then. But I'm being good. Yeah. First mouthful tasted blimey horrible. Um, really bad. Second mouthful wasn't great. I think I'm on the third or fourth mouthful now. Was, I've kind of got used to it a bit. Um, hmm. Oh, again, another difficult one to uh, score. Let's go again. Hmm. Look, there's something in there that is nice. There are things going on that I'm appreciating about this beer. But it's just to summarise it, some nice stuff going on, just the paint stripper ruins it for me. Uh, it tastes really, really strong. Blimmin' strong. Uh, I think if you had a few of these, you'd get a bit buggered. Very buggered. Um, as far as score goes, I've had worse, but I've had a lot better as well. Uh, mm. It's just a paint stripper. I can't give it anything over a five. I can't. It just completely ruins it. It's a shame. Because, like I say, I do like the plumminess, but... Uh, five. Five out of ten. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate all of you that keep coming back. Um, it really means a lot it really helps especially if you hit the like button that helps me a lot as well if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing it it doesn't cost you anything and uh i think you know what i nearly said there as well didn't you being good see even though i've sworn a couple of times i'm trying uh yeah i really do appreciate you all feel free to interact with me in the comments if you want to um check you out on the next one guys Bye-bye, darlings.